you want to see how to make this nursing sweatshirt, stay tuned. The idea is to be cheap, fast, and simple. Okay, that's what I aimed for with this project. Simple, super easy. A child could do this, seriously. Wear it whenever, however, whatever. The best part about these sweatshirts is that Hey faithful few, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my super messy sewing room right now. If you don't know, I'm in the middle of moving and so a lot of boxes and things have been thrown into this room as we pack and need a place to put those packed things. So this room isn't as clean as I would want it to be for this video, but I am so ready to make this video, make this sweatshirt and move on with my summer sewing to-do list. Since we are moving and since I am pregnant, I have a big sewing to-do list that I want to get done because I don't know when exactly I'll be able to unpack my sewing stuff and start sewing after we move in. I'm going to want to like decorate and all those kinds of things. And so today I'm bringing you a video on how I'm making some nursing sweatshirts. I am due in October with my second child. Hit that subscribe button if you're making babies with me. And... Last time around, I just didn't have enough nursing clothes. And that might sound like such a silly thing, but you know, when people are over at your house unexpectedly, or when you are trying to whip out your boob really quickly and then shove it back in really fast, you kind of realize just how badly you need solid nursing clothes that are gonna last and gonna look presentable. <laughs> so since it's the... So since it's the fall, I know I need warm things. And what do I do when I'm just kind of lying around the house trying to get things done? I don't usually just throw on a sweatshirt and I may or may not have a bra on underneath, but that's the beauty of sweatshirts is they're so thick, you can't always tell, right? So I'm gonna show you what I've made. And again, please don't judge me in my messy sewing room. I am, um, I'm so sorry, but we're moving. There's just boxes and stuff everywhere. sweatshirts that I've made. So these two are very holiday themed. I monogrammed them Christmas and Halloween, or I guess that also works for Thanksgiving. And then as you can see, there's zippers that I, oops, I might've just got lipstick on this one. <laughs> there's zippers that I've, let's see if I can do this little zip. And then hello, booby. And these are just normal Gildan sweatshirts. These are actually left over from when I had my Etsy shop. So um, these were free to me because I'd already paid for them. And these are, this is an X large and this is a large. So I figured I'm gonna be extra large right after I give birth in October and November. And then hopefully by December, I'll be just wanting a large one. <laughs> Either way though, I can always just throw on some leggings, walk around the house and be covered. Last time around, I only had nursing tanks and it was not enough coverage when people, surprise, were at my back door. So this is kind of my new go-to plan and I'm thrilled to wear these because they have the cute little monogram on them and they're nice and thick and warm and cozy. So let me show you. I'm gonna make a third one just so that I have a good rotation of sweatshirts to wear. I think that's all the <laughs> nursing sweatshirts I need. But um, and I think I'm gonna do this one less holiday themed and more just like a monogram. I can wear it whenever, however, whatever. You don't even have to put a monogram on yours. You don't have to do anything but just the zipper. And it, the best part about these sweatshirts is the fabric doesn't fray. So you could literally like cut a hole into your sweatshirt and the sweatshirt isn't just gonna, it's not a knit woven sweatshirt, you know, it's not gonna fray and fall apart. So that's the beauty of these things. Um, let me just show you what I'm doing. It's super simple, super easy. A child could do this, seriously. Now again, you do not need to add a monogram or anything special. You, I mean, you could add like an iron-on patch if you don't have a monogramming machine. 
Um, but you could also just leave it plain or buy a sweatshirt that already has an emblem or something on it. So just remind yourself to stay simple, be practical, and you can always make multiples if you really start liking this project. But the idea is to be cheap, fast and simple. Okay, that's what I aimed for with this project. All right, let's go over supplies I used. Now I bought a one to two dollar <laughs> zipper from Walmart. I'm pretty sure all Walmarts have this, unless they're like a neighborhood Walmart, but they just have a sewing section and they usually, and they usually have zippers. I buy like some of the longest ones there. I think I did like 17 inches or 20 inches 21 inches like long because you want the zipper to go across your waist and it's like a dollar and a half maybe super cheap zipper from walmart it might be nylon or polyester it's a zipper i mean you can't really mess that part up and then i am going with super big sweatshirts that way they can go with leggings and cover my bottom or you could do a tight fitting sweatshirt like whatever you want to do I just have a large white one that I wanted to do. This is just a large Gildan sweatshirt. I think like in the fall you can buy these for like six bucks or seven bucks from Walmart, from everywhere. I mean, since it's the summer right now, you can probably find them for super cheap on sale racks at different places. Or you could go find a Nike one and do it or your favorite brand, whatever you're thinking. It could have emblems across the top, whatever. It's super simple project. Just remind yourself, cheap, fast and simple. Okay, let's get started. You'll also need some thread and pins, but let's get started. So first you lay out the sweatshirt and just kind of get a good idea. Sometimes these cheaper sweatshirts are a little bit misshapen and mine might be a little bit. I'm eyeballing it right now. You know, there's a little bit of give and puckering up here, but that's okay. It's like just a nursing tape. It's going to get, you know, milk all over it. What I did is I eyeballed about an inch to two inches underneath the armpit seam or armpit spot, whatever you want to call that. So about here to here is where I want my zipper because I want the zipper to fall below my nipples. <laughs> but you may want the zipper to go literally across your chest and then you might want to do it a little bit higher, okay? So I'm going to do it about two inches below the armpit line. And how I do that is I'm going to place this zipper inside of the sweatshirt. So let me show you. So again, excuse the mess, I'm so sorry. But as you can see, I pinned pins on each side of the zipper, holding it into place. And again, the zipper is inside the sweatshirt, so you can't see it, but you can easily feel for it. And um, now what I'm gonna do is place pins on the top and the bottom of that plastic like zipper part, pinning the zipper um, bias or hem, pinning like the zipper's fabric to the fabric of my sweatshirt, but not pinning the plastic down because we're going to want to be able to sew around the plastic zipper part without um, sewing on top of it. That way it can work, if that makes sense. Let me show you how I do it. above the zipper plastic and then below the zipper plastic. Normally you don't do your pins this way, but this today I am doing them that way, um, horizontally with the stitch. I'm not doing them across this where I'm gonna put the stitch because it makes more sense for me to do them that way, but you can really pin it down however you want to. Again, this project is supposed to be simple, fast, and easy, so don't worry yourself too much about perfection or anything. This sweatshirt is only going to get milk and slobber and spit up all over it. Now 
I don't know if you can tell this, but my line started bending a little bit down and I don't want it to do that. I want it to go straight across. So I'm gonna pull out some of these pins and redo them, make sure the line is nice and straight. It's not zigzag and the zipper line is also not sideways. So I'm just gonna make sure it's as straight as I can eyeball it and see, but also I'm not gonna be OCD about this. All right, now that I have all my pins above and below the zipper line, I'm just gonna go around and stitch and remove the pins as I go, um, but stitch all around the zipper. I usually make about like two rectangles around the zipper that just hold it into place. I'm really trying to stay away from the actual zipper, the interlocking plastic part, and really just trying to connect the fabric of the zipper to the sweatshirt. I hope all this makes sense, but you'll see. And then once the zipper is sewed in, we get to cut it out and we're like done. It's super simple. Okay, so let me show you how I do it. Time to get sewing, 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 sewing. So here's our sweatshirt, um, completely not perfect, as you can see, like it is not perfect, but it is done. I do think unless you're using, unless you're using like a um, stretchy thread, you should definitely go around twice. And I like to go around completely uneven and um, just give it that messy, grungy almost look. Here is the fun part. Oh, and as you see, I had to go, you, I forgot to mention this, you do need to go um, wider around the zipper um, end and and um, the zipper knob but now's the fun part you get to cut it open so let's see I cut it really wide where the zipper um, handle goes and then it's done so easy so simple all you need to know how to do is a straight stitch and back stitch of course on the ends but it is so easy and so simple and so cheap all I'm gonna do is add a monogram and be done so let's put this on my embroidery machine <laughs> All right, guys, it's a few hours later. We ate lunch and things like that, ran a few errands even, but I wanted to show you the finished product. So here it is. I haven't even taken it off the machine yet. So here's the big reveal. And again, you don't need to do monograms and stuff on it, but I just wanted to include this as a cute way to kind of spruce it up and make it look a little less awkward nursing tank with the zipper across the breast, you know? Um, just to make it look more cutesy. Maybe it's just the southern girl within me, but I love a good monogram. Ah, I'm excited. Oh, yeah, baby. I am so pleased. Look how cute this thing is. Wow, that's so cute. Yeah. Oh, that works so well. 
I am very pleased. Okay, finished product right here. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it's been helpful and inspiring and got your brain thinking about ways that you can hack clothing very easily, very simply, very cheaply and fast and get what you need maternity or nursing clothes wise. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and comment down below if you have any questions. I'm always here to answer them. Bye, you guys.